Hi, welcome to the Wingex Pro 7 for Pebble demo. We're very excited about wearable technology and the benefits it can bring to aviation. Let me show you some of the great new things we have in Wingex Pro 7 for Pebble. Right now you can see the title up there, Wingex Pro 7, and the time is 11.33 a.m. Let me fire up Wingex on an iPad Air that I'm connected to, and notice how now all of a sudden we have two lines going across. This is kind of interesting. What we've done is we're using those two lines to represent the battery uh, life remaining in the devices. So the top line is your iPhone or your iPad, which is at about 100%, and the battery for your Pebble is probably around 40%. So just by looking at those two lines, we can see what the uh, battery life is left in, in the devices, which is, which is really nice. Now, obviously, these two devices are paired, and they're paired using Bluetooth. And what I'm going to do now is start a simulation running on the iPad Air and we this is basically going to be an approach into San Jose with various fixes al along the way and what you notice immediately is WingX is uh, sending its data to the Pebble and it tells us that the next fix is uh, FAPIT and then our destination is uh, San Jose International. These are the same numbers you see at the top in the waypoint summary of the Wing X Pro 7 moving map on the iPad. We have 3.3 nautical miles to go and one and a half minutes to fap it and uh, 15 miles and about seven minutes into San Jose. You'll notice the time is up at the top. If we simply push the button at the top now it shows us our speed, which is 125 knots. We push the button at the top again, we get our track, which is 297 magnetic, and we push it one more time, and we get our altitude. Now we're using the simulator on Wing X Pro 7, and it has us on a nice uh, glide slope down to the runway, and you can notice how the uh, altitude is, is decreasing. If we push the button at the bottom, we will change the text that's at the bottom push it and you can see that our desired track to those uh, locations is 297 magnetic and 303 magnetic into uh, San Jose. Alright, now we have some additional capability. If we push the middle button, it'll pop up with a menu. We can set a timer. So let's say we want to set a fuel timer that's 30 minutes. You want to change the numbers. You simply push the up and down arrows. You can change it then by five minutes by just simply holding. So let's say we want to set a 20 minute timer and we just hit the go button and you can see how it's now counting down. Anytime you want to go back, you just push the button in the top left. We can set altitude alerts. So if we push that, right now we have no altitude alert. We push that now, 2,500 feet. What WingX will do is automatically just pick the nearest 500. So if you're up around 4,000, you want to hold 4,000, you just press on it and even if you're at 4020, WingX will just say, well, that's close enough to 4000 and use that. If you want WingX to vibrate when you pass one of the fixes, turn this on. If you don't want it, you just turn it off. Another great warning that WingX Pro 7 for Pebble has is the destination airport plus a thousand feet. When you're on approach, it'll give you a really good five short vibrate warning to, warn, to basically tell you to run your checklist going through a thousand feet. So you can turn that on, turn it off. You can change from nautical miles, statute miles, or even kilometers. So you can go metric if you want. And then the, the last um, line is just the version number of, of the app. So we have set it to, to vibrate at uh, destination plus a uh, thousand feet. And we've also told it to tell us when we get to a fix. And the altitude alert, 2500 feet. It will warn us when we are plus or minus 300 feet of that, um, of that altitude. Some other things uh, that that it that it has. Well, let, let, let me let me just focus on these these vibrations. Um, when when you get through a thousand feet above the destination, it will vibrate uh, five times. It's like five short uh, vibrations. That when the timer expires it will vibrate twice. Think of it as timer. Those are the two vibrations. And then when you pass a fix, it'll vibrate once for you. So uh, just, a, just a quick demo of, uh, of how Wing X Pro 7 works. To connect it, 
you basically just use Bluetooth, just like you would use uh, Bluetooth to connect to any other Bluetooth device. Um, you will need, obviously you'll need the, uh, the Pebble app from the Pebble app store. And the other thing you'll need is WingX Pro 7 version 8, which should be re released into the app store any day now. We're just waiting for Apple to hit the go button on that one. And uh, we're very excited about wearable technology. We think that uh, some of the um, warnings and some of the accidents um, that, that uh, you know, this can provide or can, can, can help prevent is uh, significant. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email us at support at hiltonsoftware.com.